Once again, guys, welcome, and I'm so much excited to welcome you again to another episode today. I am in Mavanga. This is Bungoma County. And for my people, actually, let me just speak my language because this is the first time I'm doing a project in Bungoma County. I hail. What is hailing, Larry? I hail from this county. And this is where I was brought up. This is where I was born and bred. For my brothers was Murie, my sisters Murie, my uncles, my fathers, and all the other guys who are able members of this society. Bechikasi, Mbatandikire, Interiasi, Chinoke. Because at Kinti Interiors, Hodila and the Interiors, Marako Holachi Interiors, Jill Special. So today, I just want to take you through what I'm actually doing on this site. We've been commissioned, and uh, most of the times, uh, there's been a question. People normally raise questions, and uh, for those guys who have also issues or whatever uh, the, uh, uh, items that they need to be addressed, please drop them in the comment section so that I can be able to read and answer your question. Today I'll answer the question of at what stage do I involve an interior designer? This is the best uh, time to actually talk about that. Why? Most of the times we've come like uh, in the African society, the consultancy in the construction industry, interior design had never been factored in so much. But in the current society, the finishes have become the most important element of a structure or of a home more than the structure. So in that perspective, I would advise or I would request that whosoever is going to put up a structure or a building. Take that particular time also to source for an interior designer because it is the interior designer who will check the layout of an architect, put it together in form of functionality and the aesthetics of that space inside. And then you coordinate it with the architect who is mostly concerned about the form or the structure and how it will look from the outside. And when the two spaces harmonize, you get a more beautiful space. With that reason, I've answered partially on at what time do I involve an interior designer. Okay, there is this particular time probably you've already put up the structure and all that and uh, probably you didn't think about that. The most other ideal time is before plaster. And at that time, now we come in just as same, in the same, same manner or in the same, same time we took up this project. We came in, we were subcontracted just before the electrical piping, before the plumbing pipings, before any hacking had been done. It was just a shell. And actually from that, I will just take, uh, I will just take you through the scopes. So from the structure, we have done the hacking and the piping of the electricals. We've done the hacking and the piping of the drainage system and the plumbing system. And in that regard also, we have been fabricating the windows ourselves. And if you look at the quality and the, 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 the workmanship, Probably on the back, in my back, in my background, you can actually see the design. Simplicity, most of the times, is our key. Also, in terms of how elegant and how how you approach the finished product is also very key. And in that regard, we have taken up this. We have done it. We have now finished fabricating the windows that are being fixed. And from tomorrow, from next week, now we will be doing the plaster. So we come up, we do the, all those things. We do all the other alignments. I've done alignments on walls, alignments on the windows, alignments in the kitchen and all that, even on the floors. Came in and these steps were not here. We discussed between me and the contractor on site and the client. We came up with the steps. We also organized for this ramp on this side. Also, apart from that, if you look at the 3D, the items that are coming on these columns, that is the base and how it sits magnificently, suiting the house. So the size is going to change on the base, then the moldings on the on the body, and then the, 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 the head, that is the ring that comes on top. Then from there, we are also 
we actually now the scopes of the works are those are the pipes the, the piping the electrical the the electricals the plumbing works and now the plaster the screening on the floor and from there we will go into the gypsum ceiling from the gypsum ceilings we'll do the skimming and uh, probably undercoats after the skimming and undercoats we'll go to cabinetry and the kitchen and after that we'll go to shower cubicles and vanities from shower cubicles and vanities we'll go to tiling after the tiling we come back and start doing the paint works and the cornices from there now we fit the nice beautiful doors inside and from that particular point we go into touch-ups in this particular project we are also going to work on the automation system so that this home uh, by the way without forgetting the client is our brothers and sisters from the diaspora and most of my clients let's say 50 or 70 percent are from the diaspora why they some of them are calling thinking i had uh, by any chance uh, we i was in the u.s i've never been in the u.s by the way it's my prayer that uh, because i'm doing styles that are making them happy i'm planning a trip to just come walk see and also just uh learn so that whatever I bring into our projects here in Kenya and the other parts of Africa, I am in good copy and I make my brothers happy. So let's just walk in. I take you through. So we are doing the gate from the main, from the main entrance. We are doing the, the pillars and the columns at the gate, the gate, the way it's sliding. Then on the inner side, so when you walk in, I won't go into the other spaces because it is still dark in the spaces so I will talk about the main things in the house and then from there the rest will be copy paste then from copy paste you will be following the project progress as we put on the lights I put on the things I'll be putting in in, in the in our reels on our TikTok, on our Instagram, I'll be throwing in all the project progress in specifically most of the times at the entities or the items that are, are more of value to so many people, things that people like. So here we have the TV, these are cabling, we've done this. These are sockets, some are uh, DPs and switches, and one is a HDMI pipe, and then these will come into the compartment that is in the floating cabinets. This will come slightly on top of the floating cabinet. This is behind the TV. As you can see, it is nicely drawn. Probably we are working with around 85 inch to 100 inch. So it's just slightly below the TV. And we provided it on both sides so that just in case the Sony TV comes with the left and the LG comes with the right, sometimes the Samsung. So they normally come differently and we do not know for now which one is coming. But it does not uh, affect anything when you have them on both sides so that in the event you have whichever one that is coming on wherever. And the reason why I'm talking about both sides is because we came to notice that TVs, the socket, the, the cable for power, is slightly shorter than any other cable, as in it's not too long. So pulling it and uh, probably if the TV is 85 inch and it's somewhere here, that cable to reach on this other end, it becomes an issue. So that's why we are providing it on either side so that just in case it's on the other side, you are not now forced to relocate. Then now this is the, this is, these are the HDMI, the HDMI, the optical cable, VGA cable, they run in this. The piping has been done, but I will recommend, I've, I've recommended they change this pipe so that if I'm, I'm pulling more than two or three cables inside here, if they can fit or maybe sometimes the cables might fit in this, but the heads, when, they are, when you have two or three heads, which are almost the, the, the USB size, might be tricky for you to run two or three inside here. So I've recommended this is gonna be changed before we start plastering on Monday. Then when you look at the 3D, so this is a, this is marble effect or stone effect and then we have flute panels on this side and flute panels on that side and that is 1000, 1000 already marked for purposes of just uh, having a, um, a picture or understanding or just positioning things in the right position before they come in and then um, so we recommend maybe another, maybe a freestanding light on that side, a freestanding light on that side, but also socket just in case you want to use. So that is it. And then when you go here, there is the, 
mantelpiece, also the electric fireplace. So we have already piped uh, the DP switch for it. It's inside, so it just uh, after after this now will plaster, and it will now wait for its design again. The mantelpieces, those fireplaces are part of my, as in, I like working on these things. Why? I don't know. Like yesterday, I stayed on a site almost the entire day, just building it up. And again, at times when I give instructions or I give drinks to the fundies, they normally don't pull out what I want. So I can organize for a lecture for that, for those people who are interested. If, if need be. So this is the back side as you come in. Initially the door is at the center. No, the door is at the center currently. Initially I wanted to pull it on this side but I just thought for purposes of symmetry because of the pillars and uh, the steps and they're flowing on that side that is the ramp and this side is the steps and the plant and then that center part now remains as the most ideal space to come into this house though pulling it on this side will destroy the look from the outside so we are maintaining there so there's a, maybe a three seat on this side a two seater and then maybe two armchairs on that and then facing this then now this becomes you just come in make a small l l l l turn or left hand and then now this becomes our highway then this is a socket on the side that's a socket on the side assuming there is a console here you have maybe a light on top you can plug in there you can plug and then the other side you can use it for charging your phone then if you really need something to stand here you can put it here again at times in this new maybe this type of status of the projects sometimes you just want to do a day to to do a, to to plug in a diffuser so having cables all over around is one most important or key factor that you can never forget also at times people use vacuum cleaners or whatever vacuum wherever so you don't want to walk around with a vacuum with an extension cable so when you play, when you have sockets around the house it makes your work easy so to the left is the master again i don't want to go to the details into the other spaces today just introduction to the project then this will be the dining nice beautiful chandelier here nice long eight seater table which will be six six on this side we are providing a nice beautiful cabinet here this cabinet is in such a way that uh, there is a sink here high level cabinets then at this point this cabinet makes a box around here because this is low level and this is the vanity and then here this will be the coffee station so already provision has been done so the table comes here then this you can plug in your machine and you can brew your espresso then a tall cabinet or a, yeah a tall cabinet flows from top to bottom and i if i've not forgotten it uh, it is glass then it has a light somewhere there so that is basically then a socket on the other side on the 3d if you can see there is a nice beautiful artwork here which is being spotted by two spotlights which have been measured and the points are in place but from that we have this beautiful window it has been fabricated on site it is us who fabricated it if you touch this thing it has been uh, it is actually st uh, mild steel that uh, some parts have been joined to, to just get the proper gauge and for also strength and uh, security and also firmness also because of the size of the project and we've done it in such a way that actually i was really fighting with my fundies i told them i want this thing not to look like big g what is big g a gum like chewing gum sometimes when you have chewing gum you finish and you put it here just the way this thing looks sometimes so when you go to most of the projects and you're looking at the windows me and four i have these glasses so it is so easy to zoom in and see lots of uh, problems and those are it is well done most of the times they are well done but they have so many issues when you're looking at them so we've done, we've tried to do it like uh, the motor vehicle spray painting and filler and all that so we skimmed nicely sanded skimmed again sanded until we got this so it's remaining to finish the moldings then we'll do the plaster then we'll do now the proper paint work now because this is a uh, gun metal that is the undercoat for 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 the rishas. so because it's long these two open these two are these two open these two open these are fixed and these two open 
and the, the other one is fixed. Then we have um, the kitchen window. This is not a breakfast counter, it's just a window, just a platform, and then you can communicate with people from there. These are sockets, one for the, for the lights and all that. Then as you come in, because these are the most essential spaces where, that, where you can't forget, you can see this is the kitchen. As I come in, I noticed the, wall, the, the height of the wall was up to here. This is basically more or less the height of the kitchen counter because the kitchen counter is 900. That is including the skirting, which is 100. And the top, most of the times we are doing double leaping, which is 20, 20 size of granite. We leap them together, then we achieve 40. So. If we, after that, then that, that would have meant that uh, this granite top was on top of this uh, whatever. I wanted to use this space as my work surface and also I can blend from here because on this particular side, this side I'm having a sink. I'm actually having the sink on this far end and you can see this is the sink was somewhere there. We pushed it to this side and we are having we are having a dishwasher here. These are pipes of dishwasher and this is the socket to power it. And this is a socket under the sink for an under sink just in case you don't have hot water in your panels. Then the reason why I actually also took this 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 surf, this surface slightly higher is so that I can achieve uh, space to put a backsplash, nice backsplash, so that I, I have my counter in granite and then it comes all the way to here. Then along that line, I can have sockets for purposes of uh, blending and all the other things. So anytime I'm walking around here, I'm already catered from. On the other hand, if you can notice that is the sink and this is the dishwasher and this is the only counter, the, the counters that I have. So it means now I'm going to cook from here. So I'll cook from here facing that side and then uh, you notice that uh, again when you come to sites, let's assume the screening and the plastering had been done and all that, no one thinks about gas. So we have hacked the floor currently, so we are going to pipe this all the way to the outside and we'll create a cage in the corner because it's an L-shaped uh, kind of house on the other side, those are bedrooms. So there is a canook on the back side of this space on the other side. So we'll create a cage there so that it's hidden and it's locked and it's... So we'll pipe all the way to the other side and put our copper pipe for gas provision. Apart from that, you come in here. So in this line, in this line, maybe Larry, if you come to this side, this line, uh, this is where now we are having all our storage and all our tall cabinets so that we have our working area on the other side and the cooking on that side because we are trying to create a triangle. So I've started here with the fridge. So this is a double fridge. It, we've done the provision for water so that in the event this double fridge has an ice maker, directly you plug in and it gives you water inside and you don't need to come and pour water into the in the fridge every now and then. That is the the socket or the switch, the, the socket that is provided for that purpose. Immediately after that, immediately after that, so the fridge stands on its, its own, we created another snook here probably for another maybe coffee maker and all that so it's a it's a tall cabinet open low level cabinet high level cabinets open space then immediately after that we've done the oven so we have a drawer we have an oven and we have a microwave and it goes all to that goes all the way to that to the to where the beam starts then immediately after that we have a tall cabinet here that flows again from top to bottom then immediately after that we start our pantry so this flows in as our pantry some are low level we have low level and high level low level and high level and again in the pantry we provided working surface so i want to pre to, to prepare daf it's called daf for chapati i can come and prepare from this side it's not enclosed it's open i can do my things and then take it to the other side for cooking so from apart from that it flows like this then it comes and forms another tall cabinet so if i have jugs and i have uh, cereals and all that i can arrange them nicely in this wing that is it for the kitchen apart from that immediately after the kitchen we have the dobby area or the laundry
So in this space, simple layout, we have a sink there, a double sink that sits just against the window. Then it takes a return, that is the L shape, and then we have the, the washing machine and the dryer and the sockets have been provided. That is one socket, that is the other socket. So we have machines and machines are normally 800, 800, so 1600 from there to there. Then that is the granite is slightly on the high level. So it comes around here, slightly higher than the other one. Then it drops and then it goes back. Then now on top of the, of the, of the machine, the, because it's granite, you can use that surface to iron or do the things. And that is the reason why we provided double socket. And these two single items are the DP switches that are controlling this entity. Let's go back to the kitchen. I had forgotten something. So you come here, we have the under sink there. We have the dishwasher here. All these are being controlled from here. So we have the three items here. One is a, this is a DP. This other one is also a DP. This other one is a DP. One DP is controlling the, the hob. Another DP is controlling the, the hood. And another DP is controlling that item there. Then when you come to that side, we also have this is the socket that now will serve this entity, the items that you are preparing here, whether it's coffee or whatever, so because it's a work stop. But these two, as again, are DP switches that are controlling this entity and this entity. So all that has been planned. Now we'll just come and plug them in, then do our, our, do our what? Do our plaster, and after the plaster, wait for this whatever the, 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 the plaster to dry a bit then we come in and start doing the skimming at the same time we do the ceiling also one day i will just take you through something called the schedule of works schedule of works is how items or activities are supposed to follow each other from the start to the end you'll find that some people are a bit confused they really don't know what is supposed to start when and what is supposed to start when and at times also maybe another time i'll just touch about how do you involve different subcontractors because for that reason is because of quality or output you want your site to look the same from the floors to the walls to the ceilings to the lights when you're subcontracting different people always know that at times things might look different so you can do that but you have to have a strategy so for that reason maybe i just take you through quickly a master bedroom and not go to the other spaces so this becomes our master so this is one of the bedrooms and the master, that is the entertainment wall. Again, the same, same treatment we've done in there, same treatment we've done in the lounge. This is the headboard area, the headboard comes in the middle. We have provided sockets on the side, and then we also provided switches. So it's a three gang type of, uh, four gang actually. Uh, one intermediate and two gangs, one intermediate and two gangs. So one is controlling the spotlight independently on that side. One is controlling the spotlight independently on that side. So the he on the she, they can control their lights on both sides independently. Then one is controlling the chandelier in the middle and then one controls the downlighters. And we've also provided a provision whereby the downlighters can be split so that if there are six, you can also switch on three at a time because we noticed ambience is key. You don't just want to put on all the lights at once. Then apart from that, we have a dressing unit here and this is a full length glass flowing all, all the way down. So we are trying to see how we'll get a template and cut all this so that when the glass comes, you just mount the sockets on top and the glass is neat and then it's just floating here. Then the stool is under and the light is shining on it. Apart from that, look at this. These are additions because of the framework. Once the framework comes, you realize that you have an architrave on this side. And because it's at times when it's lying immediately on, exactly on the other wall, then it means that you are missing the architrave on this other end. So we've added like a 50 or a 70 so that when you put the archit, the, the frame of uh, 50, you get some muscle to put your architraves on this side and architraves on this side. And the reason for that is so that when you're running your architrave, the architrave, when it comes here, it meets the skirting. When it comes here, it meets now the other architraves. 
then it flows and goes and it becomes a continuous item then when you move in there is a socket here again you can see a kidogo demolition here and there the reason why I'm doing that so that I have cabinets flowing from that side to this side and I have more cabinets on that side so the door was more inclined to this side so I've built some kidogo wall on this side so that I have more cabinets on that side and I do not waste this space on this side so this cabinet runs from this end to that end the provided space on the far end is 450 I want it to be 700 so that the 600 mm cabinet lies on the far end then this will not have anything cabinets then I will run cabinets from this end to that end then cabinets from that end to that end then cabinets from that end to that end let's check the master bathroom so for the master bathroom again probably there is a his and there is the hers so we have a, a nice beautiful frameless panel coming all from one end to the other end probably will have a small sitting area and a small sitting area on that side we have provided this <coughs> this is piped specifically for the for the drain and uh, we've done the circular one but at the end i want to put the the linear 900 mm drain so that um, it's leaning on this side and the linear one will look really nice so the pavement on this side will come around here to conceal water on that side and that's why we're having our drain on that side and we're also having another drain here specifically because the toilet sits here so this is slightly concealed and this will take care of this other space so we have the shower that is the his and the has we have a concealed toilet initially this was not concealed so i came in and then we talked to the we organized with the plumber and we ran this pipe from this end to the other end then from there we have our jacuzzi here and that's why you see the power point here and we have the water points and we have the waste so you come in with the freestanding jacuzzi you then you put your waste here you plug in the the, the water then you plug in to the power then just immediately after that on the side we have these three niches and these niches are going to be repeated in all the bathrooms probably not three in all the bathrooms but at least one 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 depending on the size of the room but here because of the decorative element we want the we want the jacuzzi here top you can have your soap dishes uh, you can you can have your detergents then you can decorate the other space i was actually thinking of putting the light it's not in the 3d but i was thinking just include lights here so that you can actually avoid switching on the ceiling lights and just do the illumination here from there we have a counter here this is where we have the his and the hers that is the vanity this vanity in such a way that we have the 600 space on the left and I think the left uh, means the, the madame. Then the other, immediately after the 600, we have a space in between, and we have another vanity, we have another wash and basin. So a left hand and the right hand wash and basin. Then on the far end, this is where I have my linen stall. I don't know if I'll call it a linen stall, but I have a, some bit of storage running from low level all the way to some certain height here. So if I have maybe towels and all the manner of items that I want to store, here that I'll use in this room I can keep them here so that I don't run my thing all the way and then now start looking for storage somewhere else then on top here I'm running my mirror from this from where the high level starts roughly around 450 so it runs my mirror runs all the way then I've provided a light so these ones will be three spotlights flowing down then on the far end because my mirror is flowing from left to right i have provided one point is the switch another one is a shaver and then the other one is just normal socket so you can see plastering in the window are being fixed nice beautiful fixed windows so very strong even they don't make a lot of noise and i think that is it for this particular project for today uh, Larry will just uh, show you around, probably see the aerial view, see everything that has been done in this compound and as things are developing, I'll keep you posted on the progress day in, day out. Follow us on our Reels, on our TikTok, IG, Facebook so that you can be, uh, you can, you can, I can keep you posted and until the end, I will actually show you now the final reveal of this beautiful house in Bungoma.
County. And this year, we have aligned a number of beautiful projects better than what you have ever seen. So stay tuned. Never leave us. And for that reason, at Keith Interiors, where style meets elegance.